everybody today I'm gonna share with you my freelance work routine and because I'm someone who has spent like three years working as a freelancer from home and it all has started for me like very great awesome you can work in your pajamas all day long but then you know as the time passes then you realize that you don't feel productive anymore you don't feel motivated anymore and you just don't have like schedule for yourself kind of like a work routine so and you become like depressed with yourself maybe a little bit disappointed with yourself and that is why today i just want to share some of the steps that i've learned that help me to be more motivated and organized and i just want to state that this is not my everyday work routine because i consider myself to be a creative person and sometimes i like to work in the evenings but I did realize that if I do follow those steps, it helps me a lot and it keeps me, like I said, more productive and more motivated throughout the year. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you are feeling stressed about all the freelance work you have to do every day, making lists, goals and plans are so helpful because it's still the beginning of the new year, it's only February, so I thought what a perfect time to share how I do it and how I achieve my goals. For the past two or three years I've had a specific way of doing it and I can honestly say it's the only way that works for me. So let's start with the basics. Ask yourself what are the most important things for you in your life and make them your goals for the year. Like for example, to me, it is very important to develop my inner beauty as well as my outer beauty. So my outer beauty, which is my body, can be developed if I, let's say, do some sports or eat good food. Those things will make me really healthy. Then my inner beauty, which is my soul, spirit and profession, can become stronger if I, let's say, continue developing my talent this year, which is a design and drawing for me. And also if I focus on relationships with myself, my family, my boyfriend, and so on. So I can reach that by doing meditations, reading books, and these things will make me, hopefully, will make me a really smart person. So I can become healthier this year by developing my outer beauty and I can become smarter both in my professional and spiritual ways by developing my inner beauty. And those are two things, uh, developing my inner beauty as well as my outer beauty that will make me really happy. So I know my goals for the year now and it's time for me just to set the realistic goals and tasks and start planning for seasons, months and weeks accordingly. And the good thing about planning and making lists for someone who is a freelancer like me is that you always have something to do. You're not waking up and asking yourself like, what should I do today? Because you know now what your goals are for the year and you know exactly what you need to do to achieve them. And planning helps because there are people like, for example, there are people in my life who reach out to me and want to work with me and say we need this today or we need this tomorrow and you can then immediately say I'm sorry I have plans for today and tomorrow but I can do it let's say the day after tomorrow when I'm not that busy. So I think that it's really important to have a kind of routine for all of your goals that you can count on from the minute you wake up in the mornings. For me, for example, when I get up, I eat breakfast, I go and meditate. Now, how long I meditate depends on how busy I am in the morning. I truly like to meditate for 20 minutes, but even 10 minutes when I'm having a busy morning, even those 10 minutes will help me a lot. Uh, this will give me more calmness, especially when I'm having deadlines and in general, just meditating will help me to stay calm during the busy days. Now, I know it's so great to be a freelancer and just to sit around in your pajamas all day and not getting dressed, because why not? 
because I'm working from home. But I did realize that getting dressed and putting some makeup on will help me so much because then I'm able to separate I'm working and getting things done from I'm cozy in my pajamas watching YouTube all day. And dressing up every day puts you in a different state of mind that is more, I think, motivating and positive. Dressing up also makes you want to get out of the house and be more active in your daily life activities. After sitting and working for a while, Taking a break is something that is really important to me because even if I take a break for 15 minutes, it refreshes me and I'm able to come back to work with a clear mind. And this year I decided to take also a longer, like an hour break. For me, usually around 1 p.m. and move my body a little bit. Uh, last year I skipped this part of my life, I worked a lot, I ate a lot, but as for sport I totally ignored it. But this year I made myself a promise to run at least twice a week for an hour or so and explore some new places in my city. And this is gonna help me to step away from working and also gonna make me energized and feel ready to keep going until the end of a workday. Everybody who knows me in person will agree that I love snacks so much. And when you work from home as a freelancer, it is very easy just to start snacking on everything that you see. And my weakness personally is sweets. If there are sweets around me, I just can't stop myself. So that is why I like to make sure that the house is full of healthy snacks. And if I do decide to grab some snack, I have no choice but to eat something very healthy. And it's gonna give me some energy and gonna fill me for the rest of the day. Find the time when your workday ends. It may be even some kind of ritual for you. For example, for me, I'm not saying every day, but I'm trying usually around 6 or 7 p.m. to do a nice little evening walk. And it doesn't have to be long. You can do it with your boyfriend or just by yourself. After all day of working, just go outside or do something that's not work-related. Because you really need to learn when to stop, when to take care about yourself and when to just be a normal person. It's not healthy to not to have this balance and to work all day because there will always be work and there will always be something you can do. So make sure to set those boundaries for yourself. And it's usually this time of the day when I realize that those are the steps of my work routine that make me really happy. So this is it. Those were my steps that I take to feel more motivated and productive throughout the year. And I did realize that working as a freelancer from home can be productive if you find a little routine a little system that works for you so i hope you find this video useful and i'm gonna see you next week bye